Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. This is me Priya and I am back with yet another brand new episode of your favourite weekend show Z Connect. Well, I feel it doesn't matter how your week starts. What is important is for you to know that today is the perfect day to decide how you want to end it. And I am here to make sure that you do that on the right note. So if you are ready, let's begin. Michelin star chef Vikas Khanna rolled out his first NFT collection, his book representing the holy foods from India. It took him 8 plus years to research, design, create and visualize this magnum opus called the Sacred Foods of India which he unveiled at the Next Generation platform Akshaya NFT in Dubai recently. Let's meet the team to know more. Chef Vikas, so welcome to Dubai. How are you? Very good, thank you so much. Love the way, love being here. Well, it's so nice to have you here and you're here for a very big, very special reason which we will come to. Before that, I want to talk to you about you. So starting with, we, we know you for your amazing culinary skills, uh, you know, you being a prominent restauranteur, a filmmaker as well, a writer as well. What is it that you haven't done? I still haven't passed the, a bill in the Congress which is my biggest mission and I feel <laughs> <laughs> I don't like failing and a lot of people have been writing to me have you become a lawyer now I said I've not become a lawyer I have I've always figured out that I always need to do things which are my my heart is calling for and for the last few decades I feel that I have such generosity from the universe and people that I feel that having a voice which was given to me by Indian cooking that I should be honest and true to things which call me and I should focus on them. So that's where you see all this portfolio of uh, author and filmmaker and documentary and all those things come because when my heart calls me for something generally, I, I do focus on it. Lovely. Well, we've heard that while growing up, it was your grandmother who inspired you to the world of cooking. She was amazing chef. Yeah. Amazing. I still believe. I think more than just the cooking, what inspired me was the, the ecosystem of cooking. That's how it was about the food which brought everyone together. And as you're growing older, the food became something for your spiritual mind. Mm. You know, when we are sad or something, we want our favorite food because we feel that that food can make us overcome this depression or stress or the hard time True. or loss. So food has that power, that magnetic power, which is much beyond that single dish. Hmm. Because it's a it's a part of a massive continuity, so those things really inspired me as a child. And I think my grandma became an important vehicle for me to understand those things. Tell me, uh, Vikas, you're one of the first chefs uh, from India to be awarded the Michelin star honor. Yeah. How did that happen? Um, I was in the base of that award was like you know in colleges we used to have this guide where they would mention that this recipe comes from Michelin star chef, and I'm like. Why do these guys mention Michelin stars? Who are, what is the, what does this mean? Yeah. I asked the teacher and he says, don't worry, it's not for you. I'm like, what do you mean by it's not for me? He's saying it's, it's, uh, it's basically for white chefs. Mm. I'm like, I love it because I am a true hardcore Amritsari and we love to do things and then think about it. I'm like, okay, <laughs> so why can't, why can't we do it? Why can't we get it? Mm. And I'm like, they think, oh, this is impossible for Indian chefs to get it. Unless or until they cook French food. Oh. That really broke my heart. And since that day, I stopped cooking French. And I said, I'm going to focus only on Indian food. And I've become quite stubborn in a few things. And this was one of those days I remember so clearly. And I'm still in touch with the professor. And he says, thank you so much. I've never been so happy for somebody proved me wrong. And I said, you people don't even teach Indian food. They're like, oh, yeah, but you need to learn French food. I was like, but why should we cook French food? Why are they not cooking Indian food? Yeah. The questions we never ask. Yeah, you actually bringing it up then and actually oh rebelling against it. <laughs> so inspiring listening to you, Vikas, really. I get too passionate, I know. <laughs> but let's come to the story of the book, the book that is being launched as a a collectible on the NFT platform. Tell me all about it. Again, extension of a madness. Sacred Foods of India. So the book talks about 
honoring people who have been cooking in these sacred places, holy places, for so many generations and their dishes. So I said, when I'm going to honor them, I'll talk about them. We cannot be doing a regular book, eight by 10 size, 120 pages, four color print, everything I've been done for so, so many times. Mm -hmm. I need to do something which is magnum opus. And we bow to these people and their kitchens and everything because this is out of gratitude that what they do is some of the places where I visited where so many hungry people come who could be just one meal away from dying of starvation. What could be higher than these kitchens? And that little conversation and being so passionate about it, it kept going on and on and we figured out that we are going to do something like this. But my reason to do this book was very uh, not selfish but also had a different motive we had millions and millions of indians living in diaspora like yourselves right so for our generation our kids they might have a disconnect to india which i feel very strongly so mujhe laga ke sabke gharon mein ye kitab honi chahiye the NRIs, the whole communities should have this to celebrate India. So when the kids go through the pages, they're feeling that, oh my goodness, this happens on earth, mm. work like this. To show them a different side of India, what they've been reading and being taught in school about India, that there's much to India beyond that. Again, this was, this was a rebellion thought of mine. <laughs> and I'm like, I said, we have to do this. And, and then, it was difficult, doors kept closing on this. And then I realized that what we always say that if the door is closing, there's something else opening for you. We did not understand that this is, whole thing is gonna coincide with India at 75. Mm. And the world was waiting for Ganesh Ji to come in my life and say, listen, this book is great. This should be a fidgetal thing. I'm like looking at them blankly. I had no idea that what Akshaya was going to do with this book. Yeah. So this is a massive platform for NFTs and uh, digital uh, assets. He's saying, you know, you give a book to somebody, we we'll also give them a digital asset. asset. And they made me, I said, okay, explain to me as if I'm three years old, yeah. not even six. <laughs> Please explain to me what will happen. He's saying, this book, people will get physically, it will go in the living room and that is how it's been created. If you see the little work, hmm. again I get to, like how this book looks, this is a cookbook, right? Yeah. In a way, hmm. but it is a treasure of a cookbook because this is something beyond what we have ever seen. So we say that this should be a part of their living rooms. Wow, this is beautiful. So we have the gold and we have the gilding of gold and we have Saroski jewels, we have rare jewels on some books with sandalwood and everything. So we said, we are not stopping. We are going to go all the way out on this. That's the whole thing. Wow. Now look at this now. This sits in your living room and we want people to be able to feel it, you know. Yeah. So this is next level technology of Akshaya. This is, this is a chip inside. Okay. Once you get this book, you get ownership of the whole you own the whole digital mm. part of the book. Now the ink is used from flowers, fruits and vegetables. Really? We have all disclaimers inside. So if you look at the colors can be a little off because they're all natural colors. And if you touch the paper, you have never felt paper like this. Yeah. So the detail which has gone dedicated to Manapurna because she is the highest in the hierarchy of life. That without food, no one exists. Absolutely. Yeah. And then we talk about the beauty and the magnificence of these kitchens. And this was one of the biggest challenges I've ever faced in my life. When we had to break down the recipes, what they were serving yeah. for recipe for four, recipe for six, recipe for two. It was so difficult, I can't tell you. Very, very beautifully done by explaining where it is generally, where will you find it, why it is served there and then telling people how they can make it if they can't reach If there. somebody asks you what's the foundation of Indian cuisine, I said this. Yeah, absolutely. It's a ground root level of how we bring our communities together and serve them and unite yeah. them and empower them. Brilliant thinking, I must say. Right? Yeah. Something absolutely. so simple. So simple, but put together so beautifully. 
Thank you so much, uh, Chef. It's been so wonderful, so inspiring, as I said even before, talking to you. And I'm sure you're going to have huge, huge success with this, with yet another project in your life as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Ganesh. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Very well. Thank you for joining us on Z Connect today. Absolutely. Tell me, how did your association with Chef Vikas Kanna culminate into this idea? Yeah, like I said, we've been in the uh, U.S. for so long, but our heart still is in India. So we, we have our deep roots there. So we wanted to highlight India's thousands of years of history, traditions, uh, the heritage and all that. So uh, we were looking at what could be the right product. Right. So food, this, uh, this is a completely magnificent what Vikas Kanna has done here. So the food is something that touches the soul and heart of people. Yeah. And it also highlights the whole, uh, the thousand years of what has going, been going on with the sacred food, the, the offerings that people make, something that builds the community and everything. Mm. This talks about. Mm. So nothing better than that could be, you no. Know, this is why it's the first product. We wanted to make it as an NFT because we consider mm. this is a treasure. This is an asset. So that's what NFT stands for. Yes. So something that will last for generations and generations. Yes. So that's why we built something called Fijital, mm. which is a physical asset. Mm -hmm. Along with this, the owners will also get a digital copy, a 3D version of this book mm. that they can take, actually interact, they can open and see mm. and uh, use that. And we are working on Metaverse as well mm. that's coming up which will be focused on India again, where we will highlight India's culture, heritage and traditions. Okay. And people who buy this, they will be the exclusive uh, people who can access the metaverse first. Okay, wonderful. Well, this is great. We wish you all the very best for your Thank future you. projects with Akshaya. Thank you so much for talking to us, Ganesh. It's my pleasure. Time for a short break, but stay with us. I'll see you soon. Welcome back. We had a chance to meet up with the co-producer of the recently released movie Rocketry, The Numbi Effect, Vijay Moolan, who was in Dubai. Watch him speak about his dream project and also his love for movies. Welcome to Z Connect, Vijay. Thank you, Priya. So tell me, uh, the Verghese Moolan group is into a lot of things, into food products, uh, petrochemicals, tourism, medical, manufacturing, so many things. How did the diversification into movies happen? Well, uh, as a business group, we aim to diversify into how much of our sectors as possible. And movies, I mean, it's, it, it's where art meets money so <laughs> and as family we are all inclined towards art and we know that the movie industry if managed well and taken care of, and if the investments are smart I'm sure it will have commercial success so that's how we ended up in here I mean, it's entertainment at the end of the day we also yeah. like being here <laughs> yeah entertainment of course but why did you choose this movie only the reason why we chose Rocketry is because of two reasons. One, it is made by our mother, mm. and two, it is based on the story of, the incredible story of Nambi Narayan. Well, I think it's the perfect movie for you to be producing, as you said uh, very rightly, that number one, our Madhavan is, uh, has uh, uh, directed it, written yeah. it, uh, you know. He's also the producer. He's, the, he's also the producer, he's acted in it, so of course, definitely the, one of the biggest reasons and also because um, it's a biopic and uh, on such a great scientist and um, to the level where very big actors have, want, have wanted to be part of it and we, have, we can see cameos by Shah Rukh Khan, Surya in it. Well, uh, this is not how rocketry began. Mm -hmm. uh, the other side of rocketry is like how we came into the picture of rocketry is again through Madhavan. Mary has been a dear friend and I always knew that he was making a dream, he had a dream project in his mind and that it is about an Indian scientist. One, one of the nights while we were having casual dinner with a few friends and that's when 
the name Nambi Narayan came out mm. and Madhavan was saying casually to a few people like uh, do you know about Nambi Narayan that's what my new movie is about and all that that's when the name came came yeah. out and, uh, and like I've heard this name somewhere but I don't know much about it so then uh, I later asked Ma Madhavan I mean I inquired about the story and then I realized I understood that it's a very inspiring story mm. uh, and before I left to Cochin after that dinner I the next year morning while I was in the airport I called Maddy asking maybe the story that you said or the movie which you're going to do next i mean who's going to produce it so he said uh, i'm going to do it myself because it's my dream project i don't want anybody else in it i need my freedom and i also asked what's the budget that you have in mind he said i don't have a budget yet i'm just working on it I'm like okay then i told him without even knowing the budget i told him maybe we would like to be a part of it can i be a part of your project and he was like we'll think about it let's see how, if we can work it out Uh, then I went home and I spoke to my dad and that my next project is about Nambi Narayan. At that time I saw my dad's eyes lit up. Then I was like, then he was like, you mean ISR scientist Nambi Narayan? I'm like, yes, that's his new movie. Then dad was like, yes, this is our launch project. If that is a project, we have to be part of it. Not just for the money, but it's also a national duty. Absolutely. Because what has happened to him? should not happen to anybody else in the country and, and as a part the of the world needs to know his story yeah world needs to know his story and let's not look uh, i told him like there is no budget and all set that was like that's fine as long as as it's maddy let's talk to him so i called maddy the next day i said maddy dad is also interested in being part of it can we all sit and maddy, by that time maddy thought about it and he said yeah you know what let's do it come to mumbai so the next day we flew to mumbai and that's when we had the first official meeting of rocketry at that time we were planning to make a bollywood movie just a bollywood movie which stars madhavan mm. which was directed by another director mm. and we don't have a budget in place mm. nothing there's no script mm. there's nothing the only two things we had as confirmed facts were that one our madhavan is the lead hero and it's his vision on the other side it's our nambi narayan story yeah. so just with those two things we said yes Mm. and from that point from a bollywood movie it became also a tamil movie it became an english movie then shahrukh khan came then surya came it just doubled and tripled and quadrupled in size as the movie grew and here we are we know here we are with the movie is set to release in six languages it's a pan asia pa pan india release three original and three dubbed in india and internationally too there are a few languages being dubbed in, including arabic so okay. i would say more than six more than six yeah. wow so yes definitely it has yeah. multiplied and it's become like a huge huge movie huge yes. biopic yeah. right awesome well destiny had to make it happen and it did and uh, it's great i'm sure you're feeling great to be on board with this project Yeah, I mean, all the credit to Maddy for all putting his heart and soul into this project. It's his baby. I mean, I would say being the producer was the easiest task mm. in this whole project because he made our job so much easy that you know we didn't have to worry about anything. Yeah. He took the whole thing. He took. He carried us on his shoulders literally. So. Yeah. I mean, it's. Just, I'm happy seeing all of his efforts finally unfold and you know mm. into the scale and people are appreciating what they're seeing and. that's pure joy i'm sure i'm sure well we wish you all the very best thank you so much for talking to us thank okay. you so after the short break see you soon welcome back cinema is breaking the multilinguistic multiethnic barriers and appealing to a wider audience as films get pan india releases Arul Sarvanan and Urvashi Rautela's much talked about Tamil film The Legend is also a pan India release catering to the Tamil, Telugu, Hindi, Malayalam and Kannada movie lovers. Join us on the press conference of the film that happened in Dubai recently.
it is a very very mass masala action comedy romantic thriller and uh, we have the cast and crew joining us here uh talking about the legend film art the film by itself the title says it all it's it's huge it's humongous and me being part of this super highly budgeted entertaining film itself uh, is a pleasure So excited to have the cast and crew of the legend here with us. Urvashi, welcome. JD Jerry, welcome to Dubai. Welcome to Z Connect. Starting with you, Urvashi, you are making waves at Cannes, at beauty pageants, at Hollywood, and now Hollywood as well. So tell us about your stint with this Tamil movie. How easy or difficult was it for you, and are you fluent in Tamil now? So, um, I mean, it was such a wonderful opportunity for me also to be able to work with, you know, someone like J.D. Jerry, sir. I mean, they are iconic directors and very wonderful directors and, 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 and a filmmaker with whom I would love to work with again and again and again, you know. I mean, it's kind of, uh, after working with them, I feel like so spoiled that how will I manage with other directors? <laughs> so, I mean, uh, you know, the entire experience was so smooth and so amazing. I got to learn a lot from them. So, it was uh, a very enriching experience, yeah. Tell us about that entire experience of working with this cast and about working on the movie itself. Yeah. Actually, you know, our hero is a, a new, new face. He's a de debut for this film. But all the other artists, they are all very well experienced, mm. extreme mm. talented. We are always lucky to have such a wonderful uh, set of actors, actresses. They trusted us. So, end of the day, we could make a fantastic film. He put his heart and soul to the film. Yes. That is very easy for us to make him act, emote him to do the emotional scenes, action scenes and songs. It's a nice experience working with all senior artists and the newcomer. <laughs> it's a challenge for us and we enjoy it. Finally, Urvashi, tell me, with this movie, you have become the youngest pan-Indian actress. I think, how does it feel to be that? Uh, it feels great because, you know, um, I, as an actress, I always had a dream of working, like at least doing one film in Telugu, one film in Kannada, one film in Malayalam. Thanks to JD Jerry, sir, they made my dream come true. Or in one uh, film, se hi sab kuch ho gaya. Uh, yes, in five languages, <laughs> yeah, the movie is being released, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so wonderful. All thanks to them. Here we come to the end of this episode, but our journey continues on our socials where we share with you a lot of interesting stories, info and contests. Do take a look at that and share your feedback with us. I will see you next week. Till then, keep smiling and take care.